La, 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 Merry Christmas. La, 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 My name is Ethel. La, la, and I'm Agnes. La, 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 and today we're going to have a special Christmas version of Cook and Safari where we explore the jungle of taste in the tour bus of your tongue. Now, what do you have? What special Christmas recipe do you have today? Uh, well, I have a old family recipe for boiled tongue and jelly donuts. Well, now, um, that sounds scrumptious, but how would you say that is uh, particularly Christmassy? Well, it's it's Santa Claus's tongue. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's get that oven heated up. And, uh, okay, of course you know that whenever we do a Christmas special, we make sure that everything we cook is green or red. Uh, to keep with the seasonal festivities and little festooning it with anything that's green or red. Last year, what was it? Frog legs and uh, I think it was uh, bleeding eyeballs or something like that. But it was green and red and indeed quite yule tidy. It was very, very fungusy. Yes, that too. But Christmassy too. Okay, now, uh, how do we go about concocting this concoction? Well, first you have to find Santa Claus. And I've had real good luck finding him at the mall. Usually I invite him home to my place, and then I give him some Demerol and some slow gin. Oh, that, that's a little something to write down on your recipes now. Make sure you got one Santa Claus, Demerol, and some gin. Okay, now slow what do we... Gin. Slow gin. Okay. And that's not your fast gin. You want your slow gin. <laughs> want him to suffer slow. Okay, then what do we do, Agnes or Ethel? Well, after he's all doped up, you take a pair of pliers and just yank that puppy right out of old Santa's mouth. Well, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, indeed, Agnes. <laughs> ho, 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 I'm Papa Claus. What? what That's my imitation of Santa without a tongue. Oh, it's <laughs> it's funny. It sounds just like the one I got over at the Walmart the other oh, day. I'm just a regular Rink Winkle or whoever that imitated guy was, uh, Mr. Hockey Puck. Anyway, so, you got the tongue. What do you do with the Santa? Well, <laughs> usually, you can do two things. You can throw the Santa carcass away, or, if you want to spend a little more time... You can freeze the Santa carcass, and later you can make a lovely soup stock out of it. Santa stew. Santa stew. It's Santa one of my stew, favorites. Santa stew. Tasty just for you. Put a Santa in the pot and cook him down a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a marvelous little recipe. Now, what we got to do is you just throw it all in an oven, heat it to 5 billion degrees, leave it in for four days, and then you've got the lovely charred remains of Santa's tongue. And what was that other green thing? Jelly donut. Oh, jelly donuts. You put those in, too. No, in order to make those green, it's necessary to leave them in a well-lit, humid place for a week or possibly two, depending on the weather. And then there'll be a lovely shade of sort of a turquoisey hunter green type of an affair. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now, we've got the whole thing slapped down on a silver plate, and we've got to festoon it with the finest of Christmas festivitals. Well, you know, those little silver candy things are awfully attractive, but I find that they're rather expensive. So what I've done in the past is simply go down to the hardware store and buy some small ball bearings. How about wing nuts? I like wing nuts. Wing nuts are fine. That's an alternate way to go. But I think the ball bearings add a more traditional sort of an appearance. Well, there you have it. Our special Christmas show. And from us to you... Ethel and Emma. No, no, that's us. And you... Uh, all, and all of them and all those people listening, we want to wish you a herbal, a herbal Christmas uh, and uh, a spicy new cheer. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>